this. Liverpool, six points above Tottenham now in second, who've improved their goal difference today. Manchester City dropping down to third. What a change at the top of the table as things stand. So Manchester City, just a few weeks ago, they were playing at the top of their game. They were leading the way, Robbie Musto. What has happened to Pep Guardiola's well, men? Th today is, is significant. There's no question about it. That's a big gap. We're halfway through now the league season. I think you look at Spurs, you look at Liverpool, you see momentum, you see drive, you see real energy, Rob. You see Man City, lots of changes. Again, different players in the side today. That's three losses out of the last four. Is the motivation there? Has there been too many changes? And has Pep really got this team? As we thought, we all kind of said that he's the guy that's going to poke these players to want to to perform again and to win again. It doesn't look like it right now. Do you think Liverpool are now favourites? Yep, we've got new favourites, Rebecca. However, we want to look at it. And the only reason that we're, we're cautious is we've never seen Liverpool put 38 games together. 19 games, halfway point. They are the favourites, seven points clear. And there's two reasons why I think they could go on to do it. Defensively, the fewest goals, seven goals conceded, another clean sheet. And there's a control about this football club. There's a control about the play. There's a control about the manager that I think sets them in good stead for what's coming up. But let us not rule out a Tottenham team, we must know, that score goals like they're going out of fashion. And every week, just they continue you know, to win games. Absolutely. And the goals are coming in from different players. It's so funny because Liverpool and Spurs at the start of the season, they were getting results, but they were limping along. You know, World Cup hangover, whatever you want to say. Right now, those two teams are at the peak of their powers and City are not. Fascinating stuff. How crucial is this period of the season, it's this bunched up amount of games? Well, this period, Rebecca, I thought was when Manchester City kick on and leave the rest standing. Well, actually, it's Liverpool who kicked on. It's Spurs who are looking like, Robbie says, with the intensity and athleticism and Man City hanging on to coattails. That game against Liverpool and Manchester City coming up January 3rd could almost be a title decider. Well, well, that's what I was about to say. I mean, this could all kind of change again Ten on January 3rd. Or four points with mm. plenty of games left. Chaps, I have to ask you, you both went for Man City at the beginning of the season to win the title. Are you sticking yeah, right now? I'm sticking. Not changing just yet. No, you know me. He changed. I'm ready for He the changes with the win. <laughs> Robbie Ells now with Liverpool. What a day in the title race. Liverpool now have a six-point lead. Manchester City lose their third game in four. And Tottenham, all of a sudden, are sitting in second. Game massively on. Rest of the goals to come. Nil ahead with Dejan Lovren scoring emphatically with that That was a fantastic volley. strike. Great technique. And uh, for a centre-half... You know, half folly, smashes it in the back of it. He doesn't follow the ball in. He pulls off and just stops and hopes it's going to come to him, anticipates it. And what a vo half folly. Well, particularly from a centre half as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, fantastic strike. But you can see he just stops, hopes it's going to come down to him. It does. Great technique. Brilliant goal. Well, that's how they went in at uh, 45 minutes. And the second. Liverpool then given this penalty. Um, you thought it was a bit harsh on Yeah, in, in his head now, he's looking for it. As soon as he picks up that ball, he thinks, I'll drive into the box, I'll wait for any sort of contact, and I'll just hit the deck. And that's exactly what he's done. Um, that's soft for me, in my opinion. That's a very soft penalty. But he goes down because he knows he's taking them. <laughs> Mind you, Paul Dummett did give the referee something to think about, though, didn't he? By, I suppose, he didn't complain too much, shirt. did he, Dummett? He didn't complain. No, he didn't. Then, also, Jordan Shakiri got himself onto the score sheet. Fine finish this in the end by the Swiss international, but fan brilliantly. In the end, they were line. queuing up, and he just to score. It was a stroll in the park for Liverpool today. Newcastle had one game plan, just to try and keep it tight, anti-football, try and ruin the game. And they couldn't do it. As soon as they score, they never had a plan B. Just to show the squad strength that Jurgen Klopp now has at his disposal, Fabinho comes off the bench. And gets himself on the score sheet, Alan. Yeah, and uh, he's no, no right to, to have a free header from three yards out, and uh, it's poor defending. But you're right, the squad they've amassed over the last season or so is such a strong squad now. When you consider no Gomez, uh, Keita wasn't Blair today, and yeah. you know, they've got so many options, Milner, etc. So they're the real deal at the moment. Tim, eighth win on the spin now for Liverpool. Yeah. 26 wins this calendar year. It's a new club record. They're getting stronger and stronger at the minute. No, they're outstanding. I mean, the head-to-head -head games come March, April, when it comes a bit edgy. You know, for, for, especially for teams like Tottenham and Liverpool who have never got there before and been over the line. Then they start playing the head to against, against the Man Cities, against the Chelsea's, against the big sides. That's going to be key to whoever wins this Premier League. OK, let's go to the King Power Stadium. Tim, I know you said slightly tongue-in-cheek of this so-called crisis at Manchester City. Mm -hmm. It's now, what, three defeats in the last four games? 
There is definitely a wobble now for Pep Guardiola's defending champions, who came and stuck 2-1 away at Leicester, despite taking the lead initially. Yeah, it was a good goal initially, but um, Leicester kept plugging away. Um, they were creating chances in the first half, um, and they continued to, to create chances as well in the second half. What a hit that is from Ricardo. Fantastic hit. Um, and this is a red card from one of my ex-players there. He's, he's lost his head there, Fabian. He's left it on him. He, yeah. knows what he's, he knows what he's doing, but you normally you get away with one, and he ain't got away with that today, so he's going to have a little, little rest over the new year. What do you make of the last few results now, Alan? Well, I just think it shows the strength of the, of the Premier League. You know, getting beat by Palace and now Leicester. It, it, you, have to be at, you have to be at it every game. Uh, yeah. You can't take your foot off the pedal. It looks like Man City, with one or two injuries to their squad, are not coping. Are we seeing how valuable and how big a miss Fernandinho is for this Manchester City starting eleven? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to look who's missing. It must be a common denominator and it must be Ferrandino. But they've coped with him in the past. I'm sure that they'll brush themselves down and get on with it again. They've got such a wonderful squad. Mm. As I say, they need to keep on the coattails. When it starts getting edgy, later on in the season, when everyone starts thinking about winning the league, that's yeah. when it gets very, very tired. So. But for a team that's so used to winning, psychologically... How does it affect the players at City now? The well, players are not they're just second, yeah. they've dropped down to third behind Spurs yeah. now. Obviously, it's going to affect them, the, the run they're having at the moment, but it's up to Guardiola to, to install that confidence, carry on playing the way you are. I mean, they went in the lead there today, and you thought it might have been a routine yeah. result for them, but yeah. it, it wasn't that way. And incredibly, of course, the two meet each other, City and Liverpool at the Etihad on January the 3rd. Well, they got Liverpool winning. can afford to lose that Absolutely. and still be four points ahead of them. Yeah, well, that's the game now, that's key. That's a key game. No, the the head-to-head -head games are massive, and Pep will want to go over this obstacle very, very quickly and get back in winter winning ways. He needs to, you know. But they know they know how to go over the line. I've said Man City all still season, and I'll continue to stick with them. Do you? I do. Yeah, I think Liverpool will certainly push them closer. So will Tottenham. It's a free horse race. Alan, and did you ever think there'd be a seven-point gap between no. Liverpool and Manchester City before the turn of the year? No, no. I must be. I am surprised. Can get, get all them Liverpool fans believing. You know, is it their season again? And as Tim said, perhaps when we get down to, to the running, when it really gets vital, you know, Sue's the strongest then. And what about, like, Tim, do you still think that gap can be brought back by It can be, but we've seen it before, you know, and I, I, I should imagine Spurs, when Liverpool and Man City play each other, Spurs will be open perhaps for a draw. Yeah. They get a result and then they're right in it. Incredible drama over the last 90 minutes in particular. Alan, Tim, thanks very much indeed for your company. Two live games down, still two more still to come. And in the company of Andy Townsend, Andy. Manish, thank you very much. Yeah, a pretty explosive start to the day so far. And we're not done yet. A little later, we're going to have Watford against Chelsea from Vicarage Road. But up next in the company of Ian Wright and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, we're off to the south coast for Brighton against Arsenal. Brighton, will just be aware that one or two of the teams below them starting to pick up a few points and Arsenal will be desperate to muscle into the top four. Team News next.